Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card is with the one one and only Tara Wente. This is our fourth link up and collaboration and I love it at this point. It's like a trilogy or like a sequel after sequel and I love it because um, Tara Wente is one of my favorite readers on YouTube. I think she's super authentic, creative. I just love watching her content and to be able to just like link up and bring these really fun pick a cards with someone that is super genuine, someone that I look up to, I just love. So, um, Tay, thank you for collaborating with me again. I just love doing these type of videos. So what's really interesting about today's collaboration is um, when we were kind of brainstorming about the topic that we were gonna do, um, when I was talking about going into the subconscious mind or doing something deep, um, I kept being shown in my mind's eye like a snake and all of the layers. And after I'd sent that um, to Tay, I started seeing images of serpents a lot, like through Instagram and stuff, just being shown to me. And then um, Tay said that she was seeing a lot of serpents and stuff as well. So it like all kind of like coincided it was always like it, it was meant to be so I was like this is awesome so in today's video on my side I'm going to be tapping into your deepest layers we're going to be like wading into their subconscious mind and just really getting to know that side of you and just kind of like dwelling and seeing what comes up I've never gone that deep whenever I go deep especially in regards to Akashic Records and whatnot I go Stasi deep or like past life deep I never go into like the depths of the subconscious um the way that I'm hoping to go today so I'm really intrigued to see what comes up in this reading um but once you've watched my reading um I'll have the link to um Tara Tay's channel and then you can watch her video and she is going to be um taking a look at the new layers that are becoming available to you um like new mindsets and new opportunities um that are being presented to you so um yeah we're, we're playing with the layers we're going deep um and yeah, I'm really excited to do this video. So let's get into your crystals. So pile number one is the blue calcite. Pile number two is the honey calcite. Pile number three is the black tourmaline. And pile number four is the sunstone. So see which crystal you are drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual. And I will see you guys at your timestamp. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at who you are at your core in this incarnation. We're going to be going beneath the layers and seeing who you truly are. So you guys chose the blue calcite. I have, I've just literally scrammed the table and like chipped it. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, you guys chose the blue calcite. I placed that up in the corner ready so we can get straight in. Um, so spirit guides, can you tap me into the collective of... Of my pile number ones please tap me into the collective of my pile number ones you guys may have like Romani gypsy ancestry that's something that's coming through um quite strongly to be honest with you yeah there's something about um as well like actual like being an actual practitioner of magic, being able to work with the elements, the herbs, the um, commanding energy. There's something that you're already, like you have it within you. That's just something that came through straight away um, for whoever it resonates with. Um, like I feel like you're a born witch. It feels that way. Like there's something about that coming through. Um, doesn't matter like what background you have, like there's something about that coming through um up through your lineage it feels like yeah through your lineage so who is pile number one please spirit guides who is queen of cups in the sun okay who are my pile number ones at their core who are my pile number ones at their core the hanged man okay 
I was thinking of like the rays of the sun here like that they never stand out to me and they're really standing out to me and I'm here in ray of sunshine and then the hanged man comes through and I know that's like the element of his crown but it the rays are standing out to me again it looks like the sun and the rays are standing out um there's something about that coming through like you being a glimmer of light you being a glimmer of peace you being a glimmer of hope um and this is before you even incarnated like this is like before the soul would have taken on any projections before the soul would have taken on any woundings from you know family when you incarnated and you know ego perceptions and all the filters we create um there's a lesson that lesson there's an essence of like um you shoot into earth like a shooting star like a ray of light um something like that coming through like i know what i'm here to do and it's to um be a glimmer of light a glimmer of hope as i say that my candle is like there's a like a lot of light around like my candle flame is like um shaking back and forth and then i'm it's reminding me of like harry potter when they open the flask and they can take like the light out of the light bulb and put it in and then if they have like a candle and they're like out in the middle of nowhere they can use that light by opening the flask to like light the way and i'm sure like dumbledore said to ron when he gave that he was like um he said something about like so the light you can always find the light even in the darkest situations and i'm hearing something like that coming through um and i think that's an essence as to why you incarnated there's something about your soul like that so pile number one please like a guiding light sort of thing pile number one who is pile number one that they call the world we have the page of pentacles at the back of the deck okay so before we actually get into the layers that take oh my god there's an extra card behind this oh okay that's interesting six of swords moving away moving on baggage and then it was behind the sun and i didn't even see it okay i need to place these together i don't normally do this but the fact that they come together i think there's a message there so let me just put these here never had that happen before so first I've got the horse right into freedom and then baggage. Mmm, okay. So, first of all, pile number one, they're taking me to the soul before you would have learned all of the filters that human beings create, which is the ego um, connotations, the woundings that happen, which is kind of like that first layer of subconscious. They're taking me to, like, your mission as a soul coming through, first of all, which I didn't expect to happen, but that's what's happening. And they're telling me that with this Queen of Cups, you guys have a very strong connection to your emotions and empathy. You guys have a very strong heart, I'm being told, and... I'm actually being told, like, in regards to earthy, uh, like, an earthy essence, you've mastered a lot of um, the emotional body on a soul level. You really have. I feel like a lot of your incarnations on earth prior to this one um, have been you helping in a very divine feminine way, no matter what gender you are. Um, I feel like you've been a nurturer, you've been a light for people, you've been someone that passed on wisdom, but either way, it was in a way of empowering people. And I feel like you've been in a lot of empower empowering um, incarnations where you were well respected or commanded for your wisdom, uh, not commanded, you commanded other people um, in regards to like your wisdom and your essence. It's like people looked up to you in a way and I feel like um you've also been in a lot of places in your other incarnations where you've learned empathy um where you've really helped people you've seen the depths of 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 life on earth and that's not just I'm being told that's not just human beings that's animals like I feel like in a lot of your lifetimes as well you've had like a strong connection to animals um I'm seeing a, like a lifetime where um someone just had like this cat that they were super super close with like you've seen the essence the empathy the purity the source of light within each individual like you've seen that and I feel like you've mastered that within yourself and those emotional depths so because you've mastered that within yourself and those emotional depths you've got a lot of capacity emotionally open to you that certain souls may not have in this incarnation and the reason why is a lot of us won't have those emotional depths open because they can get lost in them it's like when human beings can't wade too far into the ocean because they could get lost in them or even they're scared to people could but they're scared to so you've come through with this massive lagoon open or these depth depth depths you know when you go right to the deep of the ocean and there's like cracks in the earth's crust and water even goes down there and it's like pitch black you've like expanded to those parts in other incarnations like and tapped into those layers and i'm seeing the michelle obama like me when she's like um 
oh girl you're like hiring the bar for us all and doing it flawlessly like as i've been showing someone going into the cracks of that foundation like emotionally and i'm hearing like and doing it flawlessly like you've mastered it i'd have no problem doing it because i'm being shown this little underwater firefly like you're able to withhold very high 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 frequency in very very dark 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 places you know and that's something that's really coming through it's yes you're very strong strongly connected to spirit however empathy wise you're so connected to the emotional body and other people and coming into this incarnation with that high connection to spirit and source and then that emotional depth that you just have within you that's how you incarnated on earth with this essence of i'm here to bring light i am here to shine light whether that's shining light on people's shadows, whether that's pe walking people through their shadows because I can wade through it, whether that is uplifting people, being the light for people, being inspiration for people, whether that's making a creation that lights people up, that's what I'm coming to incarnate as. Whether I'm just being a helping hand, that's why I'm incarnating. That's why I'm doing it. To show people that there's light even in the darkest places. So that's how your soul's walking into this incarnation. That's why I was being shown the rays of light. Hitting even like the darkest corners of the world. That's what I was being shown as your soul. But then we have the six of swords. Which actually is taking me to the first layer of your subconscious. Now when you are incarnating on earth. And you are here to teach something. Your human essence. Your ego. You have to understand it. And how do you understand something? you have to go through it you have to be thrown into the deep end you have to literally embody it is what i'm being told so with that coming through you guys may have incarnated in places where incarnated in places where um maybe you were lonely um in a family that made you feel lonely or in a family that was void of light in some way whether it was uplifting you um their own empowerment whether it was um a lot of wounds and and, and trauma and karma that you guys you know, t when you incarnated, it's like you planted yourself into this root and in, into this um, depth where there was a lot of maybe darkness around you. And it may have been hard to see the light, but the reason it was hard to see the light is because you were seed in the light. And that's a level of the subconscious I'm being taken to first because it was like, my first, and you knew this coming in, it's like, okay, my first initial um, wirings are going to be wired in a way where there is woundings and karma and disconnect to self. And I'm aware of this, but with this intrigue that I have within me, because you are very like, um, you're intrigued by the unknown. It's like Moana on the sea, you know, how far I'll go. You have this intrigue and then this deep intuition and longing. And you also have this, um, again, this light within you. So it's like, hmm, okay, I'm going to incarnate here and I'm void of empowerment and void of light. And yes, everything's hurting me. But because of your depth as a soul, because of your wisdom that you allowed to be very open and your depths of emotion that you allowed to be open incarnate. And it was like, yes, this is hurting me, but I'm going to wade through it. And I'm going to work my way through it. And like a jigsaw puzzle, I'm just going to put the pieces back together um, and intuitively find my way back to myself. Because I feel like you guys, you're already spiritual souls. You're on an inner journey. Like I know people say I'm on a spiritual journey. Technically, everyone is technically on a spiritual journey. But you're not here necessarily to learn to um, expand that's already available to you you're here on an inner journey to go within you're here on an inner journey to go into the dark 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 part of yourself and shine a light and be like okay here's light here's love here's empowerment here it all is and go into those cracks of your foundation because by doing that you're not just liberating yourself but you're liberating your own lineage your own soul family and that's what you've incarnated to do so your first layer of of your subconscious i'm actually being told even at this very moment that i'm tapping into you you're actually rewiring it you're actually transforming it because the first layer was you going okay right there's darkness i need to bring my light i need to bring this person joy i need to bring this person happiness i need to fix this person i need to give to this person and you may have fallen into that I guess people call it like the healer's trap or the empath trap. It's not a trap. It's what we all go through and learn. Where you may have learned as a child, well, I have this light within me and this love. I'm going to self-sacrifice and give my love to everybody because in your mind, you are connected to your mission of I'm here to shine light and I'm here to spread love. 
but you hadn't tapped into that empowerment yet or that balance because you were in this murky water. So it's like, right, I'm just going to shine my light here, here, there and everywhere. And I feel like everybody that may have caused woundings and pain, it was like they were mirroring back a crack in your foundation. But every time they, they show you that crack in your foundation, you would go deep, deep, deep down into it and shine a light on it and heal. Bring love back to yourself. Bring self-love back to yourself. Add in those boundaries. Tap into your darker parts. Tap into your shadow. Empower your shadow. Empower your light. Empower all of that. But your first layer, there was a lot of woundings that maybe you acted out of in the earlier parts of your life. But the reason that they're not telling me to sit in this layer is they're saying that layer is no more. That layer is being dis dissolved. You're literally, you've been clearing weight and rewiring yourself back. So that first layer of maybe trauma or wounding, it's dissolving. And I see you with like, a, it's like you're underwater and you have like these white um, cords and you're like pulling them all out. You're getting rid of that layer of, of wounding and you're going, right, let me tap this back into my core of my soul. Let me tap this back into the core of my soul. And in doing that, you're remembering past lives. You're remembering all of this psychic gifts. You're doing it. It's not an easy job. I'm not saying it's painless because you're having to feel things, but you hold the weight emotionally. That's who you are at your core. You hold the weight emotionally to be able to do these things. And I feel like you may be my water pile. And you see people who have a lot of water in their natal chart or their, you know, sidereal chart. A lot of people that have a lot of water, sometimes because they feel to those depths, they try to numb themselves. That's why a lot of people, especially with like a lot of Pisces energy, a lot of 12th house energy, they can get lost in that sometimes and turn to vices to numb that out. I know a lot of people with a lot of water in their chart that end up doing that. But they're learning to dissolve that and wade in those waters and that's what you're able to do but I feel like you don't even get lost in it you may have lost your way sometimes but you always find your way back I'm hearing Beyonce's song find your way back because there's a light inside of you and I'm hearing Janae Eichel's song pretty bird and she says there's a um there's a blinding light inside of you and they cannot deny you because you just bounce back because that light just doesn't go out even when people are just trying to cast their shadows on it doesn't go out because it's not something that can be put out because you've mastered it there's a self-mastery here and you hold a lot of wisdom within you. So at your core, you're, I think it's not even enough to just be like, oh, you're a light worker. I feel like that sounds so generic. You almost feel like an ascended master seed in light. And not only that, but activate in light in other people to inspire other people, to uplift other people. And that's who you are at your core. You're a light. You're like a star shining in the sky. You know, when it's dark at night and um, usually the first star that shines is like the brightest, biggest star, um, and you can't see any of the stars yet, just that, um, because it hasn't got, like, dark enough yet, it's, like, they're showing me that, like, you're that star, just shining bright, you know, and the sun's a star as well, so that's what I'm being shown, and that's who you are, and I feel like you're here to, I feel like you're learning, because it's, like, the water element and the emotions, you're learning that, you know, with water, like I say all the time, when water gets put into a glass, it takes the form of the glass. When water needs to go into a vase, it takes the form of the vase. You're learning that you're in control of what your what that, that water element manifests into because you're realizing that you have a whole moon within you. Like Luna is within you. Like you have control over the tides within you. And I feel like a lot of this lifetime as well is understanding the the heights of that and being able to move those waters and, and wade those waters in a way that's beneficial to control those waters within you because it's like you come into this life and you see yourself as a little drop and it's like okay people are thirsty let me you know help them with that little drop and then the more you learn about yourself you're like wait a minute this little droplet is coming from a lake and then you swim into the lake and you're like oh okay and then you're swimming through the lake and you're like wait a minute this lake is attached to the sea and then you kind of like go into the sea and you expand to that whole element of consciousness and you're going into the sea and you're like, wow, this massive ocean body that covers the surface of the earth. And then you're like, but wait, I'm also the moon because I'm being controlled by the tides and this is where it's coming from. And then you realize that you are, you are all. Does this make sense? Um, you are the nurturer, you are the giver, but like you've been learning to be in control of that and empowered in that and understanding yourself at your core. And you were only able to do that if you tapped into your shadow. So a lot of your subconscious, I'm not being told to tap in too much of it because 
you've been sitting in it, you've been healing, you've been transmuting it, you've been looking into those dark corners of your mind and transforming them, shining light on them. That's what you've been doing and that's what you're here to do. So whereas I was ready to talk about like your first ever layer, spirits like, well, they're actually dissolving that, <laughs> you know what I mean? And creating new layers. They're ta I'm surprised the tower hasn't come out. It's like they're tearing the tower down and building a new one up that's plugged into their soul, that their deepest self. Um, and that's who you are at your core so that you can just shine your light even more and be an activator. I feel like you're an activator, you're a light, you're a, um, a torch. You're the, you know what I mean? And it's funny because they're taking me to the moon and the water, but then they're also saying the sun at the same time. You know what I mean? So it's like you're realizing that you are all um, and tapping people into that and helping people understand that, how to manipulate energy, how to move through energy, how to empower themselves, to be able to read energy, but withstand and hold and anchor yourself into the earth so you're able to understand it instead of getting taken by the tides. Like that's who you are. Um, very, very, very in depth. And I feel like, you, obviously, I don't know who the first per like, who in the world has gone deepest in the ocean, but I feel like you're a part of, like, a very select group of souls that are able to wade that deeply into the subconscious, into the shadow. I feel like you know exactly who your shadow is. I feel like you're hand in hand with your shadow. Um, you don't deny those parts of yourself at all. Um, and I feel like as well as you clearing karma for maybe your own lineage through yourself and standing as a light for that, I feel like you're also here as a light then for humanity to help other souls like you do it too. And that's who you are at your core. You're a literal way of sunshine. You're literally this little nymph, like a light fly, uh, like a, what are they called? Light flies. Them little bugs that light up. I said it at the beginning of the reading. You're one of those, but you're wading into like the cracks of the deepest depths of the ocean and shining. You know them fish and they shine? Or are they, f I, don't, I don't even know if they're fake or not. I don't want to sound stupid, but I, I can't remember if they're fake or not. But I'm sure I've seen like a fish that has a light that glows into the water. It's like that. That's who you are at your core. I feel like you didn't even necessarily need to incarnate, but with a lot of the transformation that's happening on Earth, the collective is going through its own dark night of the soul, its own ego death. And it's like, okay, well, there's going to be a lot of people waking up to that, you know, connection to spirit there's going to be a lot of people waking up to their wounds and I know how to navigate through the darkness so let's go <laughs> you know what I mean and it's again I love when spirit show me this meme but it's when super nanny I've probably said it to you before is like you guys are in a crisis I'm on my way like it just I love when that comes through because that's how your soul's coming through like all right okay well I've mastered this I could be of help let me come down okay like that's how you've come come through to earth um and I, f I feel like I went into this reading as well, like, let's go into, like, the subconscious and reveal things. And you're like, oh, it's okay, I've got this. I've already done this. It's fine. I already know. Like, it's it's completely fine. Like, we've already been transmuting it. Like, that's in the bin. We're creating new paradigms now. It's, it's, it's awesome. Like, it's cool. We'll just talk about the soul. That's how your souls come through. Like, oh, I've got this. It's fine. <laughs> Which I love. Like, I literally love that. Um, pile number one, please, spirit guides. Who are pile number one on a soul level? Like, who are they at their core? um in this incarnation like who is pile number one you're gonna get to a point as well where you're so connected to your higher self in this incarnation um like super connected to your higher self like we're always unraveling to those higher parts but it's like you're gonna get to a point where you're like completely aware of that and even reaching mastery in, in something else um very con like there's almost this feeling of like even feeling like an ascended master sometimes like super aware of a lot of parts of yourself because the thing about your soul as well and you've done this in a lot of your incarnations I'm being told you don't just stop at what you chose to work through like you will literally find new things to work through find new cracks to go down transmute things flip things over learn new things about yourself like I'm here in the universe is vast and I feel like that's how your brain and your mind and your soul like look at it too you know um, pile number one, please, spirit guides, pile number one. Who is pile number one at that call? Wow. I was only meant to do, uh, two, but okay. Um, I'll put them like that now. Yeah, you've definitely been transmuting a lot of karma, but spirit's almost like, 
we don't even need to talk about that like they already know this like we've already been transmuting that we've already been working through that um let's talk about the greater whole instead of just the karma being transmuted because quite frankly as well there's this feeling of like it's part of the past um we've moved on we have madison shield that flipped over a few we have drum awaken I love these cards. I know I say it every time I use them, but I'm absolutely obsessed with these cards. Um, and we have four legged endurance. Your empathy for animals as well is so strong. Um, super, super strong. You're so connected to animals and, and their depths as well. And interconnected even like with Mother Gaia as well. Like it's it's so strong. We have buried in earth um, transference we have here as well okay okay there's this feeling from your soul as well i want everyone to reach those heads i want everyone to feel love like i want everyone to um and you may have even thought this is like a young child like i'm seeing somebody just looking around and there's this nagging feeling from your soul like they're making it so difficult on on themselves like we we just need to enjoy life like even when we had have these like grand missions like these soul missions at the end of the day we're here to create experiences and have memories and have joy and we're here to do that and we're making it harder than what it is sometimes with the pain that we're pushing onto each other and the triggers we're checking onto each other and the, all of that it's like th there's this feeling of your mind even young like not comprehending it like why would people make people feel sad for no reason um, I don't know if you guys might have even been bullied at times or maybe you've witnessed people being bullied because there's almost this feeling of like, I would never want to make someone feel like that. Why do you want someone to feel like that? I don't understand. Like, there's a feeling of that coming through as well. Like, why are you, why are you being mean though? And even then, it's like you even have sympathy for people that even have been mean to you. Like, I'm like, why are you being mean? Like, what, what's there? Like, what, what is making you sad? Like, why are you like this? Like, what, like wanting to understand them too and I, I feel like maybe in the beginning like in your early life you gave a lot of chances because it's like you understood like the depth like okay this person was hurting and hurt people hurt people like I get it until you learned the empowerment of like okay well I can't help people if I keep being taken advantage of here being pulled on here I have to put in a boundary but I feel like there's still like even with you guys like a lot of forgiveness and love for people that maybe you've had to step away from like there's this feeling of like I understand I get it. Okay, I get it. I can't have you in my life because, you know, you um, are quite maybe harmful to be around, but I wish you well. Like, oh my God, I wish you heal. Like, I I have so much love for you. Like, there is a feeling like that coming through as well from you. Like, such a light coming through. Why do we have protection here? Madison Shield protection. With the drum and the birds here as well. You have a strong connection to animals and wanting to protect Mother Gaia and Earth. Um, a strong, strong, strong essence that I feel as well that divine like mother within you, no matter what gender you relate to, like that divine mother essence of nurture, heal, protect, like you know when you see in the wilderness like a like a, a mother animal and a baby cub, like so nurturing but you dare touch the cub but it's almost like you look at human beings like that like this strong urge to protect and not just human beings but Gaia and animals it's like you dare try and distort that like no like I'm here for that and it's funny because when we think of emotions and, and we look at that core we think of it as such a light like twinkly like tinkerbell energy like oh I'm bringing light but really it's like no I'm bringing fire like I'm bringing light like I have passion like I have passion for people I have passion for love I have passion for mother Gaia like I do not stand for distortion and I think like even waking up to that part of you where there's that um not forceful but this deep passion like um you know, like, the dark feminine, the dark, the darker energy, like, no, like, you will not, um, cause pain to people when there's no need for it, like, I want to protect, like, there's a strong urge of that coming through from you too, um, like, you know, like, the dark mother, like, Kalima, you know, that there's an essence of that even coming through, like, you're strongly here to protect like that, um, 
and strongly against distortion, distortion in that way. You want souls on earth to be liberated and be in unison. Like when I'm looking at the horseshoe and the horseshoe, it's freedom. It's that's what you want. You know what I mean? And it's like not in a forceful way of you will listen to me. It's more so in the way of like um, when you see innocence and purity and someone like a darker energy coming through to kind of distort it it's like slap on the hand like not on my watch like that's how it comes through it's like you will not take the power away from the people you will not distort the power you will not um create more pain as long as i'm involved um and if you do i will empower that energy to come back tenfold in abundance and light you will not distort the light like that's who you are at your core this has taken such a deeper different turn than what i thought it was going to but at the same time like i love it i love these messages coming through pile number we have anger here 28 anger and what's the back of the deck oh wow we have feminine energy what was i saying the dark mother the dark feminine no matter what gender you relate to like there's an essence of that and that's why it's coming through because it's like i've referenced this scene and i've maybe even referenced it for you but you know like this is what it always reminds me of you know like in moana with tafiti and the um maui takes the heart of tafiti and she was this beautiful peaceful like abundant like mother gaia like creation and her heart was stolen and it shouldn't have been stolen and after that there was all these stories of this demon that was full of anger but her heart was taken for her and she was depicted as this angry angry person when really her heart was taken and there was pain there and there was this fierceness there and Moana like brings the heart back and she sings they have stolen the light from inside you but this does not define you this is not who you are who you truly are she gives the heart back to defeat thee and after that all of the concrete just dissolves the flames dissolve and she turns into this beautiful nature garden like this goddess and the reason she does that is because like her heart's been brought back and that anger it wasn't anger it was pain so it's like you're bringing the heart back you're bringing people to that connection from in their heart and helping relieve them of their pain it's like hey this is where let's go on a journey back to your heart chakra and let's go into the deepest darkest parts of your shadow and bring your heart back to you so we can be all be in harmony like you're on that kind of like mission and I feel like you've done that mission with yourself but the way that you were like don't worry about the first layer of the subconscious I've got it I feel like you've been dissolving it within yourself so that you can teach other people to do the same with this page of pentacles it's like I have an idea I know what we can do let's go into your wounds let's go into your shadow let's go into your trigger so we can come back to peace we can come back to love you know you're not a bad guy this is why you understand people's demons and dark pains because it's like you're not a bad guy you're hurt your inner child is hurt your natural energetic makeup that you've been tailored into in this life it's it's pain it's like when feral cats like my cat jasper is a feral cat and he won't stray too far and he gets scared of loud noises because his first initial makeup is fear you know and he doesn't mean to run away because he's such a joyous like little boy but it's like his straight reaction is like run away or if someone goes to grab him it's like i'm gonna scram you because you're gonna hurt me first so you're bringing light to that to bring peace back and harmony back and that's who you are at your core that was very beautiful part one so pal one that is what i have for you i really hope you enjoyed this um the next part of your reading will be over on tara with Taze channel so i have that link um in the description box so you can um head over there and watch um what your new layers which actually is probably going to be quite interesting for you because you're dissolving your first initial layers which is going to help transform the rest of your layers so it's going to be really interesting to see on Tay's channel what your new layers are going to be it's probably going to come full circle and i love that so yeah pal one that is what i have for you i really hope that you enjoyed hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Hey pal two, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at who you are at your core. So we're going to be taking a look at who you are beneath the layers. We're going to be tapping into your layers, your subconscious layers, and really seeing who you are. So you guys chose the honey cow side. I've popped that up in the corner. We're going to get straight in. I'm going to start with tarot and then we're going to move into the oracle cards. Um, One thing that I will say about you pal number two is especially at your core 
you're very very balanced and very understanding of like the universal nature of balance so like the dark and the light the truth and distortion a lot of people hear about the dark and it's like they run away from it like that's why people run away from shadow work they run away from their own darkness because it's easier to bypass it and it's cool to be in the light but to get a full well-rounded perspective we need to tap into the dark and maybe people have even looked at this video and thought i don't want to tap into my subconscious i don't want to tap into my you know my layers whereas i feel like you just do it like you just naturally do it you tap into the dark not like pal number one was like i'll tap into the dark and shine light there but you're like no, I'll embody my darkness. I have no problem. My darkness doesn't control me. I control my darkness. And listen to me when I say that, not in a negative way, but like the shadow. We don't shun the shadow when we do shadow work. We understand our shadow. We love our shadow. We connect to our shadow. And we allow ourselves to be in an energy of control over our shadow so that our shadow doesn't have control over us. Like you are powerful alchemists and I'm being taken to the soul before it even incarnates. You, even in like human form, are powerful alchemists anyway, where you can tap into the darkness and not get led by it and not have it control you. And that's a gift that you have. Um, because even in connection to like spirituality, because there's a level of aesthetic to it that's come in now, um, there's a lot of like happiness and crystals and positivity, but it comes to a point then where it's almost toxic positivity because we're not focusing on our real emotions and, and, and darkness you know people will really bypass that when you guys know this i don't even feel like i need to say that to you spirituality is not all love and light and you're aware of it so it's like you tap into those sides of yourself and you're very good at doing that and i feel like you almost came into this lifetime on a soul level with a deep sense of like psychology like you're able to like really understand people's brains and there's like this scorpionic essence of like i intuitively can see why you're doing things and talking to me like that but i'm also like mentally understanding it too like i'm picking up on your body language i'm picking up on all of that like i can analyze plus tap into my intuition like i'm balanced in both ways like i almost feel like some people will either have like their spirituality and their emotions like hand in hand and move through life or they'll have spirituality and then their mental body um hand in hand and i feel like you guys have your spirituality and your mental body hand in hand where you're able to tap into the darkness and understand it you don't fear it pal one was like we'll tap into the darkness and shine light on it they were connected to their emotional body y'all like mental like i'll tap into like the darkness and really understand it really get to the point of it really dig deep and 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 there's no fear there because it's like you can you can only make me feel fe fear if i allow you to control me but guess what you don't control me i control me so there's an essence of that that you came into this life holding on to um so yeah pile number two the honey calcite pile please spirit guides um the honey calcite pile spirit guides pile number two who are pile number two is at their core who are my pile number twos at their core? Okay, so we have the lovers. Oh, you really like... Oh, you've got depth to you, pile two. Like, you've got, like, mental depth. Like, oh, uh, let me just get the... Um... It's almost like you look at life in rhythms. Like, I hope that makes sense. Let me just lay the cards and I'll get into it. Um, and it's difficult. I wouldn't say it's difficult for me to, to tap into, but it's like, it may take a minute for me to just settle into your energy because, you know, I was saying people are like spiritually and mentally evolved or spiritually and emotionally. I'm more spiritually and emotionally evolved. <laughs> so mentally, I'm like, oh, let me just try and like <laughs> get my brain through this a second because it's like you've got chambers in your mind where you're able to tap into a lot, um, which is like really interesting. Pile number two, tap me into the collective of my pile number two. I'm being shown Coraline. Maybe you guys watch Coraline a lot. Maybe you feel connected to Coraline. Like that's a movie that scares people, but it has like a deep meaning to it. And I feel, I just feel like stuff like that is really up your street. You're almost reminding me as well that you're caught like the Joker. Have you ever watched the movie The Joker? And he's like, um, ah. Oh, He's, he's talking and he says something about humanity and how they're like scared of things and I don't know he, he there's, there's this quote that he says that I feel like you'd resonate with and I'm so sorry but I don't know the quote very well but they're referencing that if you know what that quote is pile number two who are my oh let me grab the card 
it may be from that pal the other day where I was like, I think it was, um, how do people perceive you? And it was like, people were perceiving you like, um, they were taking me to like Suicide Squad because they were taking me to like the Joker, Harley Quinn. And they were taking me to like, um, you're not afraid of your darkness and your imperfections. And that's what makes you perfect. That's what makes you like a lower and you may have been from that pile. Um, I definitely feel like you might have been. Like, it's like, give me your dark, your weird, like, give it to me. I have no problem, like, you know, like, I have no problem because I'm going into your subconscious and it's like, yeah, we reside here. We're fine here. Like, it's all good. Um, we can hold, like, a light frequency here. It's fine. Um, we've mastered it, so why would we fear it, sort of thing. I'm shocked the strength card hasn't come out yet because it's, like, taming the beast, taming the shadow. Um yeah like that's something really strongly coming through you may have even had lifetimes where um you may have uh how do i explain it you may have had lifetimes where like you fell into darkness and then took yourself back out or you dabbled with things that weren't the brightest but then you took yourself back out but it was so your soul could like understand it and understand and analyze it so then you could come back out like oh, okay okay and be able to understand why people do the things that they do and like a level of empathy there but more so like um how do I explain it like um like understanding it so it can't control you does that make sense um like I'm hearing that Taylor Swift song um I don't like a narcissist but they like me so it's like an essence of like her being able to control the narcissist and not have the narcissist control her does this make sense my fears you know, they love me, but how do I explain it? Like, I have control of my fears. They don't have control over me. Um, I understand how to manipulate, not to use it in a bad way, but to them, when people use that tactic on me, it doesn't work. So you're, like, one step ahead. You're above the light and the dark. You're, like, even above that because you understand how both sides work. And it's, like, I'm choosing to move with light. I'm choosing to move with my heart and my moral compass. But I know how these dark things work. So when they step to me, I know what to look out for. Like, a very intelligent. And I'm almost being shown, like, kung fu. Like, understanding somebody's motive and somebody's move. Um, to be able to get ahead sort of thing. Like, you came into this lifetime with that knowledge there. Like, I feel like people have a hard time trying to manipulate you. You really see through people. Because you've dealt with a, a range of people in other past lives. Why not even tapping into, like, your humanness so much so far? What's happening to your soul and, like, what you learned on a human level coming into this incarnation so it's still on a human level but like before you learn everything that you know in this lifetime too um pile number two who am i pile number two is at their core <laughs> emperor i just hear like don't try it don't try it i know all the tactics in the book don't kid a kidder. Don't trick a trickster. Like, don't don't bother. You can make me the bad guy if you want. I really don't care. <laughs> like, it's fine. Like, I, I really don't care. I don't live for you. I'm above all of this. I, I, I don't care. We have the two of swords at the back of the deck. Yeah, like, and this is the thing about you as well. I feel like you've learned in this lifetime because you have that light, that beautiful heart within you that I really do feel like you stand up for what's right. But you're the type of person that would stand up for the underdog because I feel like you're quite misunderstood. And I feel like you've had people project onto you because they haven't been able to understand your depth. So it's like when you see the underdog, you get them. You know what I mean? You really get them. So you root for them sort of thing. And I feel like you're someone as well, like coming into this human essence, you understand that you're here to be a human being. So you have a lot of beliefs in what you believe in and you're very adamant of them. You know what I mean? And you fully understand them. So it's like you walk through life with um your map in your hand. It's like, I know where I'm going. I know what I believe in. So you stand for something. So when people then don't stand for it, it's like people then may project onto you. So you almost take on this role and it's in your subconscious layer of like, well, I don't care. If you want to make me the bad guy, I'll be the bad guy. If you want to make me out to be the trickster, I'll be the trickster. I'm literally just living my life and these are my views. Like I'm not trying to convert you. Like you have your own life. Like I don't mind, but there's just so many layers and like so much depth to you. It's just like people just don't it's like even coming in like i'm being shown spirituality and people tapping into like the the light fluffy side of spirituality and like you'll get dirty like into the shadow like subconscious like let's take accountability of our shadow and then you may have people project onto you and it's like but that's what it is though <laughs> like that's what it is because you have no problem embodying it because you can tap into it and 
not be scared of it it's like yeah but we have these these feelings and we have these like emotions like i'm not gonna it's like you almost i feel like people you may have even had people project onto you like oh you're reckless or you're a daredevil and it's like well no I just honor these feelings I don't allow them to take over me or you'll say things sometimes that people are too scared to say and it's like but no it's 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 there for us to say though like it's a thought like I need to get it out I need to say that like and it's because you just you get you get human beings to a really deep degree like even in this lifetime you may have grown up as like a parentified child where you had to like counsel a parent look after a parent or really deal with some I feel like you guys swear so I'm gonna say it like some some d heads I have to be careful because of you too but you've dealt with people that have just been mean and it's like that's their trigger that's their shadow I get it I'm not even angry at them like I get it like that's their shadow do you know what I mean I, I can I can see that while they're projecting onto me I'm seeing somebody just shouting and projecting you're just looking at them like yeah no it must be really hard to live with that that anger inside of you yeah no I see why you're projecting onto me I see where I could be triggering you mm, okay yeah so it's like you're almost looking at people like again it's reminding me of like Harley Quinn when she was like the Joker's like psych like you almost look at life like a psych like because you see the depths in people so much it's like wow um yeah you're just really really deep like that really really deep like that and it's like you'll similar to pile one like i'll go into the murky waters and shine light it's like i'm gonna go into the murky waters i'm not scared of the devil the devil should be scared of me like do you know what i mean like there's a feeling of that you like your layers like the root of your layers is, you're so fearless so fearless it's it's really really interesting um i feel like the crow remember i was saying at the beginning like egypt was coming through for, like that pile where i always get the psychic pile i feel like the black crow may be like a symbolism or like a raven i'm being shown raven as well um maybe like an animal spirit for you um that's something that's really really coming through and like i was saying with the light in the dark light in the dark and you mastering that look at that we literally have um the two different colored sphinxes coming through um as like yin yang you know what i mean um really really interesting and i'm being shown as well like some people will get to that point of like their spiritual journey where um they'll start to really have to look at their fears in their eyes they'll go through like an ego death of some sort or maybe even a kundalini awakening and a lot of fears come up a lot of darkness comes up like that and a lot of people you'll see them convert to religion and you'll see them just like banish their spiritual side because it's like oh my god like it was almost like they were hiding behind it to be like this light but then when the darkness comes up it's like oh my god <laughs> you know what i mean i'm running somewhere else where i can hide behind the light whereas you're like bring it on bring it on bring it on you're so deeply intuitive to the point that it doesn't even scare you <laughs> um i feel like you have a very strong gift of premonition as well um like you'll go into the depths of your mind you're a deep 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 soul that's who you are at your core you're a very deep soul and do you know how intelligent you are as well like i have to say that you're so intelligent i'm hearing the jokers laugh for some reason but you guys are like really intelligent it's like i'll you've rose above the point of even caring about people's like perception of you it's like look i, I saw this like funny voiceover for like reels the other day and it was like this guy shouting and people were booing him and he's like um I don't he says something like I don't care um about your booze I've seen what makes you cheer and then he says like every breath I take without your permission raises my self-esteem <laughs> and it made me laugh because I just feel like that's you guys at your core it's just like I'll be whatever you want me to be you've risen above the point of caring about other people's perceptions it's like human beings can be fickle human beings can project and they get triggered that's fine like I'll be whatever they want me to be because at the end of the day I'm just gonna keep doing me anyway <laughs> like that's who you are at your core um which is really cool and interesting I feel like people do look at you and think you're quite cool to be honest um the lovers cards really coming through again is the balance between dark and light but also um I feel like you may even end up in like therapy sessions <laughs> with people without even realizing it like someone just talks to you and you're like well you do know that's coming from your fear of being loved like you're shutting down the you may be psychologists in this lifetime too because it's a gift you have to be able to delve into that and understand the why you're in the, the human brain because I just see you like well this is happening because you're scared of commitment and you're shutting down of this because you don't feel you're worthy and this is coming from this and this is coming from this like you'll go deep to the point that you may even trigger people people are like why are you saying this and you're just like 
what like do you know what i mean it's just human nature like it's almost making me want to chuckle because it's like you're just so sharp like your brain's so sharp but i'm also being told pal too that like you read people sometimes without realizing you're reading people and you pick up on things that like to you it's like oh i found out this about this person and you think it's just like common knowledge whereas it could be like a really big trigger for them and like sooner you're in an argument or something you could say it and then it really triggers them and they're like <gasps> and you're like well i was just saying something that i picked up but it's like i'm being told like because you're able to tap into that darkness and you can read people's fears if you chose to wage war and be angry and be in an argument like wouldn't want to get on the wrong side because you'd be able to pick at the points that are wounds not that you choose to do it but i'm just being told like if you chose to you'd be very good doing it um and that's the beauty of your heart you don't choose to and that's i think that's why you have this sort of gift um but your words they're like they wage wars like your words are just like they hit you're really sharp with what you pick up and to you it's normal but to other people it's like how would they know this <laughs> um super psychic premonition like that sort of energy but then also your mind's just like so extravagant and golden it's just like really interesting i'm being shown like parts of your mind even that you've like i'm being shown like a red robe like no entry <laughs> um i'm being shown that which is quite funny but it's just like yeah like under maintenance like you're working on a part of your shadow you haven't quite mastered it yet so it's like Lexi, you can't go on there yet i haven't mastered it so there's parts of that to you like you're really clued on um i feel like there's nothing i could tell you about your subconscious mind that you don't already know pal ones was like they've already transmitted it to light but with you it's like yeah i already know i already know i do this i already know i have this i'm working on it don't worry about it like you're already aware of a lot of your subconscious mind you may be good like good like um hypnotherapists and things like that um i don't know i just feel like you're someone that can go into the darkness maybe a good shaman as well helping with like soul retrieval go into the darkness of people's um life and bringing back fragmented parts of their soul i think you'd be very good at that too you may have done that in past lives as well um or even just helping people work through dark night of the soul, soul like um helping people do shadow work like i just think you'd be really good at that uh you've mastered it to be honest with you um good psychologist so i just i think it's in you you know how oh we have the drum awaken let me sort that out quickly I know I forgot to edit it out. Are we, are we good? Are we good? Yeah, okay. I think that's okay. Is that wonky? I feel like it's wonky now. Okay. Okay. Um, Pile number... Pile number two, please. I'm hearing A Bull's Tale by Jidana. I don't know why that song's coming through. Maybe it's a song you listen to. It's called A Bull's Tale, Jidana. Um... I'm trying to think what the basis of the song is about it's kind of like a fighting song sort of um sort, sort of song pile number two tap me into pile number two's core there's not a layer of your psych that you haven't seen or that you fear i'm being told present we have present here um one more card please for guides me into pile number two's core you're really intelligent too i just feel like you look at life rhythmically you look at life through layers and, and energies and i just you go deep we have earth nurture here as well like you'll go into the underworld like you have no problem doing that i'm hearing look what you made me do why do i keep being shown the reputation um you are for taylor swift the only thing is i don't trust nobody but nobody trusts me I'll be the actress starring in your bad dreams or something like that she sings and she'd actually the snake that's probably why you go really deep and people like look at snakes and they get scared of them but they're so powerful they have so many layers like they're in every religious text like a snake is like one of the oldest and most spiritual symbolisms but people get scared of the snake and look at it as negative when it's not you know um and I feel like you you may have like a snake as your spirit animal or something like that that's something coming through but that's probably why i was being shown reputation because everyone was like commenting snakes and being mean to it which wasn't very nice but you know we have death as well transmigrate i feel like you've been through ego deaths and i feel like you ace every ego death i feel like you're one of those people that's like meh 
been through a ton of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've been through a ton of them. I always have my light and I always understand my dark and I'm not scared of it. Whatever. Um, see, look at the contrast of like light and dark, light and dark, like super interconnected like that. We have Awaken, the drum. Yeah, I just feel like there's almost this feeling of like, let's go. Like, let's go. Let me just go into my shadow. Let's go. Let, let's, let's go deeper. You know what I mean? I always say like, People aren't scared of the dark, they're scared of what's in it. But once we turn the light on, we're not scared anymore. And it's like you're walking around with your eyes wide open in the dark. Like, come at me. <laughs> come at me. Like, let's go for it. Like, you may even be someone that loves like horror movies and stuff like that. You almost find them funny. You may be one of those people. And if, if that's not the case, it's just like, there's this essence of like, I'm not scared of anything spiritually and I'm not scared of anything physically because to be scared of it, like, it'd have to have my permission. And I'm not giving it permission. So, very strong soul. Because in, in life, we're taught to fear so much. Like, we are taught to fear so much. Human beings are very fearful, you know? Whereas I feel like you've rose above a level of that before even incarnating. And this, you know, integrates throughout your life. You see beyond, you see above. That's the thing. It's not a case of like, you see through and you see above. You see bird's eye view. I say that as I see truth. That's what I say. It's not dark and light. It's truth and distortion. And you see the truth. You know what I mean? So the distortion can't, you know, mess you up. Because you see the truth. Interesting. <laughs> um, pile number. Oh, let me grab the card. I wish you guys could see Jasper right now. He looks so cute. Oh my god, guys. We literally have the yin yang. With the chariot and the black and white sphinx. And then we literally have yin yang. Perception. Yeah, you're just wired differently. Like, you just have no problem seeing the depths. And you have no problem. It's like, okay, if you see me like that, that's cool. I don't, you know, I'm not really living to please you. And either in this lifetime, you're coming back to that. Where you're realising... Um, that other people's perception doesn't have to like cloud who you are like you don't mind being misunderstood so you may be going through a lesson like that or just may integrate into your life where you've just always been like that like i really don't care about your level of perception this is my opinion this is my perception of life like yeah ancient wisdom literally and we have like what looks like trees you're planted in like you've been on earth a long time like you've dealt with <laughs> it's almost like laughing in a way like you've dealt with humans a lot you know when people get triggered you know when people are following a crowd you know when people are being mean just because it's like monkey see monkey do like you've seen all of that you've seen all of that so it's like it is what it is i'm here to be human i'm here to be abundant i don't care if you misunderstand me i don't i don't care <laughs> like that's your core and the back of the deck we have abundance it's like you can't tell me i'm not gonna be rich if i say i'm gonna be rich i'm gonna be rich or you can't tell me that i'm a bad person you can project it onto me but it doesn't make it true i make it true for my reality you can't you know and it gives you that level of like freedom which either you're obtaining and tapping back into in this lifetime like i said um or you've always had it throughout your life some of you guys may be waking this part of you back up um because it's you at your core um yeah 100 percent I believe I could, so I did it. Like the honey calcite connecting to the soul of access. Like I'm worthy. Because I said I'm worthy. Um, it's like you've mastered something on earth. You've mastered something on earth. On earth. And whatever it is you've mastered, you've incarnated to guide or help other people on earth with something that you've it's a level of depth in humanity or tapping into the darkness. The thing is about Earth right now, we're all going through a lot of shadow work right now because Earth is currently going through a purification. We're moving from 3D to 4D and 5D. To do that, there has to be a transmutation. We're in the age of Aquarius. A lot of darkness is coming up for the collective to transmute. And people are wanting to bypass that darkness. But the world, there's a lot going on in the world right now. I feel like you're really needed you know because we're not going to run to the heavens and abandon earth we're bringing the heavens to earth it's not the other way around we're bringing the light back to earth and we can only do that when we don't let our shadows control us and you have that key because you understand that's why you've incarnated 
interesting pal two that was really interesting i love your energy so pal two that is what i have for you i really hope that you enjoyed hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did and head over to tower tay's channel where you guys can watch um the new layers that are opening up to you now um so yeah thank you guys for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video hey pal three welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at who you are at your core so we're going to be tapping into your subconscious mind and really taking a look at who you are before all of the ego filters and ego connotations come in um just dwindling beneath the layers basically so you guys chose the black tourmaline i'm gonna place that here opening up to your energy and being shown the scene from avatar when um Oh, Naturi says to Jake, you have a strong heart, no fear. And there's something really humanitarian coming through about you. I don't know why I'm hearing a shamanic drum. Some of you guys may have been shamans in your past life. Or you may be shamans in this lifetime. I keep being shown the drum. But there's something really humanitarian, like, um, really strongly coming through. And not only that, but just like a strong connection to Mother Gaia. Like, seeing mother guy as a part of you seeing animals as a part of you like this interconnectedness that's just there that i feel like you guys have um and i feel like as well even just because i'm being shown your soul incarnate and before anything else happened like i feel like your soul came in with a purpose to like reconnect people back to mother gaia because the thing is like we're all the way that the universe is the seed and consciously we are all part of the leaves mother gaia is the seed and animals you know plants we are parts of that seed we we come from her and the thing about that is sometimes along the way that petal can become disconnected and, and wither away and humanity has kind of lost its way in regards to its connection with mother gaia like we've forgotten how to heal ourselves with mother gaia's foods we've forgotten how to tune into the energy cycles of mother gaia we've forgotten how to collectively move in tribes we've almost salad our root you have that root and the wisdom of holding that root in place like still within you and that interconnectedness of mother gaia and just collectiveness like still within you and i feel like part of your mission i know it's on a soul purpose video but it's coming through part of your mission is to connect people back to mother guy's root that's something that's coming through really strongly let's get in we'll get the tarot cards out and we'll continue to channel so pile number three who are my pile number threes at their at their core on a soul level who are my pile number threes on a soul level oh god what two seconds okay we have empress literally um we have empress okay um pile number three please for guides who are my pile number threes at their core i just you to listen with your heart you will understand you may have a strong connection to pocahontas um king of swords okay and I'm hearing even your soul, like people are like, well, I feel low. And it's like, of course you do. You haven't been in the sunlight in days. Or like, I feel ungrounded. Of course you do. You're just never wa walking bare feet on the earth. Like, uh, I don't feel good. Like, of course you don't. Like, you haven't eaten fruit in like a week. <laughs> like, there's just like an essence of that coming through on a soul level. Like, it's like you're already into you may even be careful with what you eat or you may find that what you eat really impacts you so like if you eat like really heavy foods um you may feel really sleepy or you may find certain foods give you brain fog like you really get affected by foods i'm being told um you've come in with that open so you can understand that um and with that i'm saying like whatever diet you have it's going to be tailored to you um i know like in the spiritual community we'll see people like following trends or telling people to eat a certain way but we all physically have different bodies that need different foods and minerals that can help us like there's no one size fits all when it comes to the human body so um don't feel like you have to eat a certain way like listen to your body and i think that's part of your mission as well to listen to your body and understand what you need um pile number three Ooh. we have temperance Pile number three, please, spirit guides. Who are pile number three at their core? Two of cups. Two of cups, okay. 
I'm hearing the Iggy Azalea song, Saviour. Knight of Wands at the back of the deck. Okay. Um, Who are my pile number threes at their core? I just shared Freedom Fighter. I just shared that. I feel like whether it's from past lives and it's coming into this lifetime or whether you've seen it in this life, like people having their freedoms taken away from them, people having their rights taken away from them. I mean, we're seeing it in the world right now with, you know, what's going on. Um, we see it everywhere. And I just feel like you're almost like coming through as like this Robin Hood. Like I fight for what's right. Like I love people. I love human beings. I love animals. I love nature. I love like... I'm hearing Beyonce's song Big Gun. She sings, life is your birthright. They hid that in the fine print. Like, there's this essence of, like, your soul just wants to be. Your soul just wants to dance with the land. Your soul wants to connect to Mother Gaia. Your soul wants to dance with animals. Your soul wants to be around animals. Like, your soul sees the intelligence of Mother Gaia and animals. Your soul sees itself in nature. Like, your brain is wired to see life like that. And I feel like a lot of your life is either tapping back into that or being an example of that. Because that's who you are at your core. You're someone with a very, very beautiful heart. And it's coming through like, um, you just have this universal connection to Mother Gaia. And I was, I had a download the other day and I was, um, I was saying to Spirit, like, we're supposed to have connection with people, but then like a lot of the spiritual journey we're on our own, why? And my Spirit Guide said to me, the journey of being on your own, like, it's not actually a curse. It's an initiation to go deeper because the thing is, is that we're supposed to move in tribes. We're supposed to be connected to people. We're supposed to be connected to Mother Gaia and all of that. But we've lost our connection to spirit, Mother Gaia and each other, and more importantly, ourselves. So when we're actually spending a lot of time on our own, that's actually an initiation, not a curse. It's an initiation to know ourselves deeper because by knowing ourselves deeper, we understand ourselves to a deeper degree, which allows us to have a better, deeper connection with our brothers and sisters, human-wise, then animal wise which once we understand that interconnectedness to each other and friendships and relationships we then can understand that interconnectedness with animals and mother gaia and through understanding that depth of mother gaia we can open up to spirit but because human beings know this in their heart but they don't they've kind of severed that in a lot of ways they'll hyper focus on relationships and not on themselves or they'll hyper focus on um building something without connect rooting themselves and connected to mother gaia or they'll hope hyper focus on ascending without rooting and we get it all discombobulated and it's human beings trying to do the right thing but they're just getting a bit it a bit discombobulated that's all they're not doing anything wrong they're, they're listening but it's like they're not doing it in the order of which it should be which is going within first to work through our shadows and understand our shadows that's stopping us from having maybe healthier connections and then through that we open up and we initiate and I just feel like you're already like you may I feel like you spend a lot of time on your own in this lifetime or you haven't had a lot of relationships and it wasn't like a curse it wasn't that there was anything wrong with you it was just like your soul knew that coming in right I've got to clear this karma before I open up to relationships I've got to do that so I feel like you've worked and this is why I'm not being taken too much to the subconscious because I feel like you're either working or you've worked on healing a lot of your wounds healing your subconscious going into your depths and darkness you've worked on that so that you can create a beautiful foundation to open up to mother Gaia and open up to friendships and relationships in a deeper way like that's what your soul came in with so when you were spending all that time on your own it wasn't in vain it was preparing you and your soul was preparing you to open up to other connections like that's something that's coming through really strongly like you may have done a lot of um working through karma in this lifetime and I want to say and I want to say this really quickly like this reading's taken a bit of a different turn than the other two did the karma that you've cleared in this lifetime, it wasn't your sole purpose. You cleared that karma because you were just acing it because just that that's the person that you are. You're very good at transmuting energy. You definitely are like shamans or alchemists in some sense of the word. Like you ace that. So it's like you chose to like work through that in your family line so that you could set a foundation moving forward of healthier connections to your physical body, healthier connections to Mother Gaia, healthy connections to relationships, to bring all of that in and set the tone and then be an example for other people. Because I feel like you almost came into this reading and thought, oh, I'm going to have a lot of these subconscious wounds coming up. A lot of the things you've worked through in this lifetime was karma from your family lineage that you've just been transmuting. And I keep being sure someone brushing their shoulder like, boom, 
done just transmuted it it's fine like we've worked through it it's good like so easily to the point that you've just aced it and like moved on it's like right now i'm pouring into me so i can have that strong connection with somebody else so a lot of your subconscious layers were maybe connections to people um where maybe you were overgiven feeling like you had to heal people feeling like you needed to help people you may have been drawn to pile number one in a way feeling like you needed to nurture people heal people because you came in as this person that was on a mission to like plant yourselves back into earth and plant yourselves back into love so you've seen wounds and wounded people around you and it's almost like you've wanted to heal them maybe help people change their diets and help people with that or help people emotionally connect deeper or mentally connect deeper like you came into this lifetime with that mission so a lot of your subconscious wounds were like you feeling like you had to overgive, um overfeed over help like you felt like you had to do that whereas i feel like you've been working on transmuting that so that you can have a better connection like you're not just here to like give and heal you're here to create abundance and set in that example you know what i mean like annuals don't rush about like if you could see my cat Jasper right now, he's just laying with his head flopping off the sofa. Like animals just live in, in, in abundance and they just live happy. And human beings are meant to do that. But to do that, we have to work through that healing and wounds that tell us that we have to do all of these other things to be worthy. We have to transmute that first. So it's like, that's what you guys are here to like teach and help people do you know what i mean so i feel like you are some sort of sham shamanic healer or um reiki healer or um maybe psychologist therapist something like that where you can really go deep to transmute that karma for people and then take those wirings and plug them back into mother gaia plug their you know themselves back into their own heart and their, the god source and their own higher self um i feel like that's within your energetic makeup i feel like you came down as a healer in every sense of the world um but it was like you had all these wirings tapped into other people that was your subconscious and you've gone through that and pulled all those wirings off other people and put it back into where it's supposed to be to create this beautiful garden because you're actually here to live a very abundant life and set an example um and that's what you're here to do this has kind of turned into a bit of a soul mission reading but it's it's fine i feel like that's what you needed to hear um you're also here to bring order out of chaos, make order out of chaos. Like, you know, when you have like your phones and they're all entangled and then you like one by one pull them out until they're like a straight line again. I feel like you're here to do that. I feel like that's who your soul is at your core. Um, and again, there's something about maybe like herbology or like healing the physical body with foods and things like that. I feel like there's something that you're learning to do in this lifetime. You may be from my Akashic reading pile, like a couple of months ago I think it was March where I was talking about um there was one pile and they were connecting to Mother Gaia and bringing the wisdom from Mother Gaia and all of that and I just feel like that's something that you're working through um it's called the Akashic Records um I think it's like Psychic Gifts I think that's what it was um it'll be in my Akashic Record playlist but th there was a there was a pile that was really connected to that but um I do feel as well yeah i feel like you're here to set an example in regards to like loving people like treating people right like doing good by people as well and not just people animals mother guy oh jasper's the cutest baby like he's just laying there he's so cute i wish you could see him um but yeah i really do feel like you bring love the thing is it's coming from your heart like your heart a compass like you bring love where there's an absence of it you know what I mean? You bring love where there's an absence of it. You love and you nurture where there's an absence of it. Even within your own physical makeup. Like, there's such a connection to animals as well. I feel like you re Do you look after animals? Did you ever want to be, like, a vet? Do you love animals? Are you, like, enraveled in, like, some humanitarian work? If you're not, I feel like at one point you will be. Whether it's for Mother Gaia or animals in general. Because there's, like, an essence of that. Like, why aren't we connect? Like putting an emphasis there like there are brothers and sisters or like this is our home we're destroying it like there's an essence of that coming through really really strongly that your soul at your core is like fighting for and even just human beings like you're looking at people and you see their wounded inner children like clinging on to people that aren't healthy for them or being mean to each other and it's just like you're here to bring love to that and 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 help that in ways um which is why you may have been 
thought of maybe dealing with like broken birds and things like that you may have seen like illnesses as well take people in in your family or people be affected by certain illnesses and it may have in your brain sparked like okay well how can we heal this um how can we work through this some of you guys may even be like doctors nurses or like blend in like you know that with like herbology and things like that or just blend in that with you know shamanism and things like um it all goes hand in hand i just feel like there's a crossover that you're going to be working on this took such a different turn your pile did than the other piles see your soul came in with a mission knight of wands like right where are we headed i have a mission because i'm almost feeling like you've gone through so much shadow work and spirits like honestly the depths that you've gone to is amazing but also it's not all you came here to do you're here for much more um it just shows how much of a strong soul you are that you were able to work through pain that you've had to endure like that you were like right i'll do this first like you're, honestly your soul's coming through like i'll do this first and once i've started all that out we'll do this and it's like a bridge so like your earlier life may be a lot different to your later life um but like your soul's coming through like brushing it off like mm, yeah i'll do this and this but then spirit's like do you understand the alchemy you've just done do you understand the generations and like years worth of like pain you've just transmuted into happiness anger you've just transmuted into love abandonment you've just transmuted into togetherness like do you understand do you understand that and your soul's like well yeah that's what i came here to do like do you know what i mean like that's just that's just what i chose to do and like i feel like there's even like spirit guides around you like taking a hat off like oh my god you're just acting like that's nothing <laughs> you know you may go through something heavy transmute and then be like oh that wasn't that bad and like i just feel spirit around you like what <laughs> like did you actually do you understand the weight of what you just did like you're so boom it's cool like you know what i mean like moving on like you just feel like that like i just oh god i've just climbed the mountain let me climb another one they jumped out oh, of course we have earth nurture of course we have that and then we have middle world present so i was saying um was it a pile two no i think it was in a completely different reading um when do you see how like they're rooted in it's like to be able to like channel like the enlightenment that you channel and have that level of alchemy to be able to transmute you have to bring it to earth so you really have to root yourself into the earth and i just feel like you know mother gaia well because you've incarnated here so many times like you have such a strong resonance with mother gaia because you've rooted yourself so deep that you have this like feeling like you know that song if we go down then we go down together it's like i'm not going down without a fight like mother gaia is not having this happen i'm not seeing these animals go extinct like this it's not happening like i am literally part of you and i will fight for you and it's like that and even like human beings it's like your pain's my pain like i want everyone to transmute from this so you go down i go down with you like that's how it is like there's such a union and it's like an aquarian feeling of like togetherness that's coming through but to be able to like channel to the heights that you have you have to root yourself as deep so it's like this depth of like rooting yourself to mother guy but also being able to channel high 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 so you may have gone through like maybe your earlier life super connected to spirit and then your later life it's like still connected to spirit but integrating that down into your root like and connecting to mother guy and understanding the depth and the spiritual side of mother Gaia. like there's a yin yang here that you're learning to do because there's a breakaway and it's not like absence it's like okay this half of the life we're doing this and then this half of the life we're doing this so we're using what we learned there to do this and do you know what i mean it's like flipping it's like that um that's what i'm being told so there's like a transition you'll go through in this lifetime where you shift from like it could be like an ego death but it's like right we've dealt with this now let's move on you know and that's why subconscious wise i'm not being taken to too much because it's like you've already been transmuting and alchemizing it a lot of your subconscious wounds may even be I'm being shown the layers as strong lines and then I'm being shown blurs like you're blurring them to go deep to like transform them I hope that makes sense um because at the core you're like a warrior of the heart like that's who you are at your core um very strongly animals really like because animals know this 
animals have a depth to them and i don't even feel like i need to tell you that animals really gravitate to you you may even find like birds don't fly away like some birds get scared of humans and they run away you may find birds that just chill with you just chill next to you no problem or like insects will come to you like spiders run away you may find they come to you or insects come to you because it's like it's like you see them you know like avatar again and they say i see you it's like i see you do you know that scene when aturi has to honor kill those animals because they'd already been hurt so she had no choice but to do it and jake's like thank you and she's like no you don't thank for this this was sad very sad only all of this was your fault they didn't need to die obviously i watched this so many times that i know all of these scenes but i just find that so powerful because it's like she sees them and that's the saying in avatar i see you it's like she sees them as part of her as a reflection of her it's like they didn't need to die why would they need to die you know and you see that which is just like so interesting that you're coming into like life with that it's like you hear mother guy's call and it's like i'm coming because you are me and i am you you know um pal three what pal number three is at their core soul retrieval reclamation yeah you guys are shamans i keep hearing the shaman drum all through this reading like i feel like you've been shamans in past lives soul retrieval reclamation bringing the wounded parts of yourself back so that you're whole and that's what you've been doing through your own shadow you've been doing soul retrieval without even going to a shaman for soul retrieval because your soul remembered how to do it that was just aced and i feel like your soul was like eh but it's like no that's oh my god <laughs> you know what i mean like how would you wow okay and all of these healing spirals and now it's time to do that collectively so that we can honor Mother Gaia and honor our brothers and sisters so that we can open up to spirit in an honorable way and have that union with each other. I had to heal it within me so I knew how to do it with other people. Oh my God, this is more like a soul mission reading. We have insect support. What was I saying about animals with you guys being really drawn to you? I feel like spirit and just animals love you i feel insects love you you may have always had a connection with insects if not insects animals maybe both i feel like spirit use animals to talk to you too and i feel like mother gaia mother gaia uses animals and insects to talk to you and sea creatures i'm being told to say very interesting i just heard your soul say everything can be healed with love that's what your soul just said everything can be healed with love we're not loving to each other we're not we're not loving to mother gaia because we're not loving to animals and we're not loving to animals because we're not loving to our friends and and, and each other in the way that we're supposed to and we're not loving in that way because we're not loving to ourselves but when we love ourselves, we can love each other. We can love other guy. We see the interconnectedness. And that that's what your soul is at its core. Like a warrior for people, you know? I just said I will not go through this again. So some of you guys, if you believe in star seeds, you may have like, you may be liar in star seeds, I'm in tack in star seeds, places where their home was destroyed. Um, you may be connected there because I just said I will not go through this again. Or maybe like... um you may be from tribes that um had to experience like genocide in this lifetime and all of that wisdom it's like that's not happening again we're bringing that back or even just like atlantis lemuria like going back to those places it's like i will not go through this again like your soul's adamant like no no it's not happening like not on, not on my watch like that's how you're coming through you may even be like one of your ancestors reincarnated as well to bring wisdom that they knew um through that's something that i was told to say You have wisdom about the physical body that a lot of people haven't even tapped into yet. Like, wisdom that I'm being told not even to imprint, it'll come to you. From like a higher consciousness of the physical body, you're already aware of it. It's within you. Transformation. You guys may be going through a transformation right now. Remember I was saying about like a breakaway, like your earlier life is going to be different to your later life? 
that breakaway may be happening right now where you're integrating your subconscious probably because i can't tap into too much of a subconscious because it's being alchemized that would make sense wouldn't it pile number three please spirit guides who are pile number threes at their core <laughs> past present and future we're bringing the okay this is what your eyes are saying your eyes are so connected to your mission that even at the cause of your being it's coming through we're bringing the wisdom from the past into the present for the children of the future that's what we're doing like that's how connected you are to your soul purpose it's like in the deepest darkest corners of your soul it's like everything you do is with purpose everything you do your heart is there you won't do something if your heart is not there it all has to have purpose because you're aware that you give meaning and you choose to move with love and and give that meaning if that makes sense um we also have sacred space at the um back of the deck again your soul at its core knows your physical body is a temple your soul at its core knows that your emotional that your emotions are sacred your feelings are sacred your thoughts are sacred even your shadow is sacred and the lands we walk on are sacred like everything's sacred i keep hearing like you're a very magical soul is what i want to say um and i just feel like everything you do is going to be from the heart in this incarnation when you're healing wounds when you're talking and, and working towards what is right it comes from the heart and you come across in this incarnation so passionate when you speak because you honor your emotions and you feel them so deeply you honor other people and you feel it so deeply you honor your loyalty and you feel it so deeply when people are disloyal because you give such love and meaning to it and it's not intense it's passion i feel like people may have said that's a bit intense no it's passion you're a passionate person and that's even in the deepest dark darkest parts of you like at your core you came to this earth and incarnated with passion so you move about just a soul that's who you are your love you are love so pal three that is what i have for you i really enjoyed this video so thank you guys for letting me read your energy i really hope that you enjoyed hit the thumbs up hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did um i'll have the link to tarot Tay's channel in my uh description box you can head over there and see um what new timelines and what new layers are opening up to you and yeah hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal four welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at who you are at your core so we're going to be tapping into the subconscious mind taking a look at your deepest layers and really seeing who you are at your deepest layers so um you guys chose the sunstone i'm gonna place this up in the corner and we are gonna get straight in when i was tapping into you guys's energy i keep being shown a horse um so that could be like a spirit animal for somebody but that was just something that came through um if you've been seeing horses a lot just take that as confirmation um but pile number four please spirit guides who are my pile number fours at their core spirit guides tap me into the subconscious minds of my pile number four tap me into the deepest layers of my pile number four who are my pile number fours at their core who are my pile number fours at their core okay so we have the world pile number four who are my pile number fours at their core we have the chariot okay i'll lay the cards and then i'll um channel for you guys pile number four spirit guides who are my pile number fours at their core two of swords and a queen of, oh no not queen of wands why did i say queen of wands it's a page of swords two of swords page of swords three of swords at the back of the deck okay 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 straight away opening up to your energy pile four i'm being shown like um like a strong like dark mother energy um kind of like a kali ma sort of energy um like you have so much passion so much love it's like the divine mother with like within you what no matter what gender you are we have divine masculine divine feminine there's always one more prominent i just keep being shown a strong divine feminine energy but it's like um i'm being shown moana when um tafiti gets 
her heart taken away from her and she's like waging like wars and then when she has her heart or sword she's like back to peace like there's this essence of like the dark mother like living within you i keep being shown like a strong like mama bear energy or like a nurturer energy um and it's funny because i keep being shown like royalty for you guys in regards to like past lives this is like energies you brought in from past lives that were at your core at the beginning of this incarnation um so i feel like you guys pal for you were either royalty in a past life or you were i keep being shown the word dynasty as well um high priest high priestesses like there's a strong essence of that connecting to spirit in some sort of way but i don't know why just keep being shown like um how do i explain this it's like um it's like a mother bear energy and i see you being very protective i see you being very protective of, of like children i see you being very protective of animals like whoever's like in your care but like i feel like coming into this lifetime like at your core there's almost like a rage um and not in a negative way like rage doesn't have to be in a negative way it's more so like um a passion like a a fighting for um it could be like equality of like genders and things like that because the way i'm I'm picking up there's like this essence towards the feminine and the divine feminine like there's an essence towards that and wanting to protect and wanting to uplift and wanting to um preserve that and i feel like you came into this incarnation with a strong mission um to tap into the like divine feminine within you the divine mother within you and wake that up because for a long time especially like on earth if we're gonna go there like the divine feminine has been repressed um the divine feminine it's been imbalanced like in regards to like genders it's been imbalanced and i just feel like there's an essence of you incarnate in on earth to help bring that balance and bring power back to the divine feminine and again it doesn't matter what gender you are there's just an essence of that coming through i keep being shown kali man i keep being shown mary magdalene so both kali man and mary magdalene may like work um with you or maybe like around you working with you you may see them like cropping up a lot um i just feel like that really it's coming through so strong i'm hearing cleopatra as well um where you came through on a mission and like deep at your core it's like wanting to bring back the power to the to the to the feminine to the divine mother like bringing that back because i keep being shown moana's scene with tafiti when she has the heart taken away from her and everyone's calling her like a demon and and bad but really she had her literal heart taken away from her and then um when she had her heart taken back she just came back to peace and she was able to bring nature back and restore nature so there's like an essence of that so strongly when i'm tapping into you because with the three of swords i feel like i keep being taken to your past life pile four um and i don't necessarily feel like it's karma it's more so like i saw this in my past life i went through this in my past life maybe i had my power taken away maybe i saw others have their power taken away or maybe people forgot about the power that we can bring and i just feel like you came into this incarnation like holding on to that or the emotions to that like okay we're here to restore balance incarnating because with the three of swords at the back of the deck it's like i need to make this right i need to restore this and i feel like as well um i feel like you guys could benefit from doing a lot of like sacral chakra work um tapping into your like the depths of like your sensuality um and really connecting to that side i have to be careful what i say in regards to that because like youtube's really you know you know they 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 try to block that off but you know what i mean um in regards to sensuality and the sacral chakra like really tapping into that um and awakening like the divine mother within you like that's something that i feel like you guys will be um working through in this lifetime and i feel like it's something at your core you may be waking up as well to an essence in this lifetime where you feel this protectiveness like this mama bear energy towards animals and towards anyone like in your in your um Oh, do you know what i feel like you were i just feel like you were the head of like certain tribes or the head of um certain like covens and things like that like i keep being shown that and it's like my responsibility my responsibility but then there's this essence of like you having um some sort of like of that power being taken away and knowing what it feels like to have that power taken away so it's like you're coming back to restore it um you may have even been around in like the Salem witch trials or like any of like the witch trials where um you know women were called like witches and then they were like um uh they were killed like and again it doesn't matter what gender you are this will still 
pertain to you if it's resonating with you it does not matter what gender you are um but i keep being shown that like there's such a strong energy that i'm bringing the power back and not only that but bringing like the power of spirituality back as well because like i keep being shown high priest high priestess and like channeling information bringing information down and it's like that there's almost this feeling like it's been shunned or maybe you were shunned for it in past lives so there's this essence coming in it's time to bring the power back to the people it's time to bring that power back to ourselves like it's time to do that we have all of this power and it's laying dormant because it's been taken away and it's been forgotten about it but we can activate it so you feel like some sort of like activator in this lifetime that's how it's coming through so in regards to your like deepest levels of like your subconscious this is very much there and i feel like maybe you've gone through in this lifetime many um situations where maybe you felt like your power was taken away from you you felt like your light was being taken away from you people maybe made you insecure people made made you um neglect certain sides of you that you wanted to express or neglect certain um psychic abilities that you had um maybe you had to conform to like a certain way of living when you knew your heart or your power was elsewhere because that's laying in your subconscious energy which i do feel like would have had like the thing is when we have something like that in our subconscious energy and we have something like that in our like soul's makeup we'll choose to incarnate in lifetimes where we have a sense of it taken away so we can bring it back so we can teach other people how to do it if we're supposed to be activating something in someone or teaching someone something we have to go through it in order to teach it because how else would we understand and i feel like you may have run through themes in this lifetime um where you've had your power taken away from you or you were disconnected to that side of you um for you to then bring it back and have like a home come in there and i feel like that's something you're working through in this lifetime um, um 100% because I feel like you were either royalty or you were looked up to a lot in your past life or you were like um just ahead of something um and I feel like because of that you have that leadership energy in this lifetime you have that um you know strong like divine mother energy you have that um high priest high priestess energy in this lifetime but it's like just you unraveling to be able to see it and i feel like the more you tap into your subconscious and go deep you'll be able to like activate that and understand that more but there's something really strongly about um taking me really strong to um the sacral chakra i'm also being taken to um japanese culture um, so that could be like ancestry or you could have um, had past lives in Japan but I'm also being taken again to Egypt um, I'm being taken to Africa I keep hearing Yoruba um, what else am I being taken I don't know why I'm being taken to Morocco like I'm literally being shown that like on the map um, and Thailand I keep being taken to Thailand as well um, so you may have had like past lives there or that's like hot spots where you would have learned a lot of energies or really been in your power um, in that like nurturing energy um, yeah strongly and i keep hearing that ganja burn song by Nicki minaj where she sings i can wage war but i or i can bring peace like gandhi and i'm looking at the page of swords it's like clear in the cl i feel like you may have gone through um a passageway of losing yourself to find yourself feeling completely like abandoned and lost to then have your power brought back there's this phoenix that lives within you whereas i feel like whenever your back's put up against the wall it's like something roars like a lion just roars like a phoenix just bursts into flames and like transmutes like there's something about that like in regards to like adversity i just feel like this power just takes over you or again this like it's i keep being from kali ma like this this rage takes over you or this um this fire this what that's what it is it's fire it's not rage we put so much neg negative connotation on words that sometimes it can be taken in the wrong context but like this fire within you that i just feel like whenever you see adversity or you see people having their power taken away from them it's like no no like no and it's just like this fire takes over it's this passion that runs through you this protective mama bear that comes over you um that just unleashes out and the reason i say mama bear is because when we look at animals in the wild it's usually the mother cub, like the mother you know like the lioness to the cub like they're usually very protective over their babies so that's why it's coming through because it lives within you again it doesn't matter what gender it's just something that's coming through um before i pull any oracles can you is there anything else i need to pull yeah it's like you want people to be in your power you want people to be able to say what they they 
say what they feel you want people to know their needs and express their needs like you're seeing that imbalance and it's like i want people like again there's also this essence you may have drawn in a lot of narcissists in your lifetime to step into your essence of an empowered empath so you may have been like an empath at one point that like we all go through it i was like this too where you gave your power away or you just um had like maybe broken bird syndrome where you were trying to heal people and people may have like taken and you gave but it's like you flip that and then pulled back into you may be on like a path of that um and coming into your into your power um you may have even looked at your gifts like a curse whereas you'll start to realize that they're actually a blessing because you learn how to control them and maneuver them um so there's an essence of that coming through really strongly um i just got shown a serpent like a really strong snake so that came through as well um you may have been drawn to pile number two i don't know why i feel the need to say that i'm sure snake symbolism came up for pile two um anything else yeah i just keep hearing i've got the magic in me i've got the power in me like it's in me i'm hearing the little mix song power um you make rain but i make it shower um you should know i'm the one who's in control i'll let you oh i don't i don't remember the rest of the lyrics but i it's called power it's like a quite a like powerful song to be fair um so that's coming through really really strongly um oh that jumped out so we have air creativity yeah i feel like you guys are powerful alchemists as well and i feel like you are good very good like manipulators of energy i feel like you can manifest energy very well um and again you may not have been able to see that but i feel like it's something that you're waking up to um like there's something you're really powerful at and looked up to in past lives that it's like you're waking up to that in this lifetime it could literally be because i kept being shown the high priestess and the high priest just a very gifted channeler very gifted at like premonitions and psychic like you know having psychic foresight being able to see timelines um it could literally be that it's something in regards to the divine feminine of like healing alchemy um you know have like having those psychic abilities there's something strong there that you guys are very gifted in and i feel like you know it but sometimes you may doubt it um but it's laying in your subconscious energy like yeah i'm really good at this i've already mastered this it's within me um but there's a fire within you like a fire within you but whenever you're like placed into a box you pounce out or whenever you're backed against a wall it's like it rages out of you like it's in you really strong like i'm surprised the strength card didn't come out because that's how it feels um you guys may um connect to like lyra and star seeds um hydra star seeds um you may even resonate with like draconian star seeds as well um i know people like to say that like negative but they're not all bad at all um and that's something that's coming through um what do we have here we have east emergence yeah do you see how the sun's like rising on the horizon it's like this light that's like as you go through life you collect in parts of yourself as like soul retrieval and that light shining brighter and brighter because you're realizing like who you are and you're igniting that flame within you and it's getting brighter and brighter and brighter um we have death transmigration as well um what have we got at the back of the deck we have bells deflection oh there's just such like power within you that you're like waking up to really really strongly as well um really really strongly and that alchemy here of transmigration like strong healers for sure but it's past that i'm also here in tantra i'm yeah like practitioners of magic like I, i'm seeing somebody like speaking things into existence somebody in their past life used to sing to manifest i'm seeing someone in front of a candle flame singing like literally singing into the flame um so you worked with like fire alchemy um and you're singing but it's like i'm not even hearing words or you're even you're either channel in light language and singing it into the flame or you're um there's just certain words that are being activated on noises in your like throat and in your voice that are being activated into the flame and it's creating like this alchemy there's a lot of power that like is laying in your subconscious that you're slowly weaving through and tapping into i'm being told you're a very very um powerful being um and you may have even been taught in this lifetime to dim it 
um but this flame i just keep being shown it getting lighter and lighter the more you learn about yourself and tap into yourself um you may have even gone through life at certain points looking for that light in other people knowing that it was there but people taught you to look outside of yourself so you were looking for that light in other people um until you realized it was within you sort of thing um because it's funny because the subconscious for you it's not anything like necessarily negative at least at your core it's like this is where all my gifts are this is where all my um this is where my flame is like this is where my truth is this is where my power is you know um and i think shadow work for you would be so i you probably are doing shadow work to be honest with you it wouldn't like shock me but i just feel like the more you do shadow work for you it's like soul retrieval tapping into those parts of yourself like it's like that flame just gets brighter and brighter the more you do that shadow work let me just grab the cards that fell um am i using all of these oh there's only two am i using all of these yeah okay um so we have truth we have masculine energy and one more card please for guides one more card pile number four at their core who are my pile number fours at their core oh god okay I keep hearing I've got the magic in me. Um, transformation we have as well, which is literally going on top of death. Powerful alchemists. Powerful alchemists. What do we have at the back of the deck? Movement into balance. Do you see how the sun and the moon are balanced? Like the divine feminine and the divine masculine? Yeah, you're here to balance that for sure. Maybe you've been taught as well to stay in your masculine energy or you've had no choice but to stay in your masculine energy a lot of your life and shun the divine feminine within you and you're learning to unravel it um, because deep at your core it's like the strong divine mother whereas I feel like maybe if we go higher you may naturally tap into your divine masculine as protection um, or to feel more comfortable in this lifetime that's how you were taught but i see the deeper you go there's just this strong divine mother that i see you guys tapping into that's like part of your purpose the fact that we have truth as well again this is just this energy like i think it was pile two where it was like bringing the power back to the people bringing the power back to like each individual person so they can shine out and not be taken advantage of and not be um you know, how do I explain it? Um, there's just like a protector vibe from you. This strong protector vibe at your core. Um, very, very strong. And I feel like you have a lot of like wisdom within your soul that is going to be integrated into this lifetime that your soul like remembers um that i feel like you're here to bring there's some there's one thing you're really good at but i feel like even telling you now you know what it is um and it doesn't have to be psychic but it does feel that way but i also feel like it could be something to do with like caring for people and nurturing people and having that strong heart because i'm hearing um florence nightingale as well for some reason so um that's coming through too um but i just feel like at your core that's who you are and that's why you chose to incarnate to bring that power back to nurture that power back and you know protect those that are going through their own transformation of tapping back into their power um yeah and it's really really strong so pal four that is what i have for you guys i really hope this resonated hit the thumbs up and comment down below if it did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys at my next video so thank you guys for watching